We are back shopping at Five Below for Christmas. I can't wait to go inside and see what we can find and of course find some DIYs. I saw these online. They have tree collars for $5. Now these aren't gonna fit like a big tree, but a good size tree. They have these silver ones. They also have these, check these out. I thought these were so cool. They have gold ones, five bucks. You could definitely put these around like a good sized tree. They also have a ton of cute stockings. These little gnomes in a three pack are so cute. They're really popular this year. Everything is gnome. They also have these like tabletop gnomes, these little Sherpa hats, isn't that cute? Look at this one. These trees are glass. They're really cute for $4 as well. You guys, you can get 21 ornaments for $3. Look how fun these colors are with the pink, greens, and champagnes. They also have them in like the blues and white, and then there's some other options as well. These trees are so popular this year, but Five Below has some different colors. I love the blue. Looks like the large ones are $3.25. See, they have gold. The pink are cute too. Small ones are $1.25. So I had big plans for these ornaments. I wanted to create a garland. I've never done this before with ornaments, but I thought, you know what, we'll just try it out. So I got a long piece of twine, tied it at the end, and I started by stringing on one of my wooden beads. I'll link to those beads down in the description box. I use them all the time from Amazon. Next, I took out the top piece for the ornament. Then on the opposite side, I drilled a hole. Now to make this project work, you're gonna need a really long sewing needle that's going to span the length of your ornament. This is the only way I was able to get it through. I tried just putting the twine in and that didn't work, but I'm simply just drilling a hole on one side and then pushing the needle through the ornament, alternating with wood beads. Once I got to the end, I just tied it in place and here's how my garland turned out. When today's sponsor, Rebate, reached out to me to sponsor today's video, I was really excited because I've never found a rebate site quite like Rebate. You guys know that I buy a ton of stuff off of Amazon and I was rarely getting a discount and Rebate has products on their website from Amazon that offer up to 100% rebate. So when I saw this, I was like, how is this even possible that they're offering 100% rebate? But with Amazon, there's so many small business sellers that are on that platform who are trying to get their products in front of people and discovered. So the Amazon sellers that are trying to get their products seen on Amazon will offer a limited time, large rebate for their products so that more people can discover their brand and fall in love with it. I used to be an Amazon seller, so I definitely understand how hard it can be to get your products seen. The cool thing about rebate compared to some other services is it's free and there's like no reviews required. You can also get your rebate within three days, which is pretty different from other rebate sites. And rebate is not just available on Amazon. I think this rebate idea is a cool idea and it's also a win-win for not only the sellers, but the customers who are getting those large rebates. You guys are probably curious to go check out the rebate site now. I'm gonna leave the link to rebate down in my description box. So just click that little arrow down and you'll see the link right there. So go check it out. Love all of the cozy pillows and of course the throws. This one is my favorite. We're gonna have to get this one, and can you believe it's only $5? Okay, so here's my idea for this throw blanket. You guys, I would say the one thing that's probably the best deal at Buy Below are their pillows and their blankets and their rugs. They just have great fabric items. So I decided I wanted to make a table runner. So I figured out how big I wanted it to be. Then I'm gonna cut a straight line using those plaid lines to really help me. You could totally sew this table runner, but I've been loving this spray adhesive lately and I wanted to show you just a quick way to put together this table runner. I'm gonna be using this spray adhesive on one edge of my table runner. 
Now you can see where I cut, I made sure that I had a straight line. This is gonna help me so much. So I'm gonna use that straight line when I fold it over to make my line as precise as possible. And I'll do that all the way down. I think to make your table runner look 10 times better, it's important to iron it. I was actually at my office, so I went in with my heat press. This is unnecessary, just use an iron, but this is what I had on hand in order to iron mine out. And here's how it looks on my table. I think it looks so pretty as a table runner. Are you subscribed to my channel? If not, make sure you hit that button. I post new DIYs on Mondays and Thursdays. 42 piece food storage, BPA free, $5. Five Below has this whole wall of like craft gift ideas that are priced around $5. That looks like our DIYs. It does. This looks like the paint pour we do on the channel. <laughs> so my daughter's been wanting a bead kit like this, only $5. The one that I saw on Amazon was around 15. I love giving games each year for Christmas. They have a whole wall of games, you guys. Each of them are only $5 each. My kids love doing Kerplunk. We also love trivia whenever we're camping. So I love that it has like the different decades. So our favorite notebooks that we've been using pretty much all year are these Five Below ones. They're only $5. They have like hard covers. They're awesome. Trust me, we're picking out new ones that we want now, but these would make great gifts as well. And you guys, they have all of like the poppets, the little snap links. These are great for stocking stuffers this year. So they have all their poppets priced at $5. There's some really unique ones I think this year. I'm gonna grab the french fries, the white duck, and the pink whale. Five Below always has awesome pet stuff. We gotta get one of these for Moose this year for Christmas. I don't know, we're gonna go through. They have all extra small. Let me know which one you guys like best, plaid or trees? All right, if you love Harry Potter, they have $5 Harry Potter ornaments. I'm gonna have to get all of these. My girls are huge fans of Harry Potter and I think these are perfect ornaments to give them this year. I love this Reese's holiday advent calendar. You can also get them in like the Hershey's one. They have two different Hershey's ones. You guys, you can also get some of the hot chocolate bombs. These would be great to throw in gifts. They have salted caramel, peppermint, hot chocolate. This is perfect if you don't want to bake the gingerbread cookies. You can just grab this and your kids could decorate it. They also have a ton of gingerbread houses in a lot of like fun, different candies. They have Twizzler, Hershey, Sour Patch. These are only $5. I love this one. This is a little bit different than your traditional one. My kids love doing this every year. What is an Oreo candy cane, you guys? Oh my gosh. Check these out. Do you think they're any good? We gotta try them. We're gonna have to get them. 
All right, you guys, we're gonna try out a fun idea with these Oreo candy canes that we picked up. So what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need a pan. I've been loving this Wilton pan. It's from uh, JCPenney, I'll link it for you guys. And then you're either going to need to put down a silicone mat or parchment paper, either one works fine. You're also going to need some of these metal cookie cutters. Anything will work. We just grabbed some that had like a Christmas theme to it. So we're gonna put them onto our pan. The other thing you wanna do is you're going to take any kind of cooking spray and you can do this before you put them on the pan but basically you want to coat these really well mine's butter flavor but I think it'll be okay <laughs> So my cookie cutters are all greased up. Now I'm gonna take a candy cane and I'm gonna break it into like maybe four or five pieces in the plastic. Then I'm just gonna simply pull the pieces out and I'm gonna set them into my cookie cutters. So I used one candy cane in here. I'm gonna repeat that for my other ones. All right, so it's at 350 degrees. We're gonna put it in the oven for probably between like five and 10 minutes. I'll let you know how long it takes. All right, the thing about these is you don't want them to go too long, otherwise the candy is gonna start boiling. So I'm literally like, we went, let them go five minutes, but I'm checking them like 30 seconds. So I think they're gonna need about another 20 seconds and then we're gonna pull them out. I want to make these into ornaments. So my thought was I could take this little skewer and try to make a hole. This may work. It may fail miserably. I may need to let them cool. I think I need to let them cool farther. Okay, I'm going to stop and let them cool just a little bit. All right, so they hardened up on us. I'm needing to like quickly put a hole in there. I'm just taking a, a little skewer and I'm trying to create a hole in them before they harden all the way. These harden up really quickly, so you kind of have to just get them at the right time where it's hardened before it was too melted to do it. So, so I'm just going to lightly pop the rest of them out. We're hoping that they look better on the other side because this side, you can see it kind of started to boil along the edges, so that doesn't look great. So let's check it out. Oh, not so much. I mean, it's kind of cool. That's actually kind of fun. Oh, I broke this one. See guys, I broke this one. You gotta be careful when you put the hole in them. Let us know what you think. I'm gonna add some ribbon to them. I think they'd be really cute to put out for a dinner. You could totally eat these as well. Or maybe if you had a tree in your kitchen, that would be cute too. And yes, I'm still wearing this if you wanted to know. So I'm just gonna add in a little white ribbon since they have a lot going on. I didn't wanna add in any color. I can't decide you guys, are these a fail? Did they work out? I kind of like the front side of them or the back looks kind of cool too. So let me know, front or back or complete mm. fail. <laughs> if you guys are liking this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up so I know to do more like it in the future. You guys, they have a lot of different holiday candles that are really big. How big are these? 16 ounces. This one is candy cane cupcake. They have one called a cup of cocoa, merry cranberry, and then there's one called tree farm. I think I like these candles actually better. That one smells really good. Look how high end these candles look. That one smells pretty good. What are these? Vanilla frosting. Tons of options over here. Love the gift bags. Let's see. Three dollars. Three dollars for four. That's that's a good deal. I love that. We could do something with this. All right, we're grabbing this.
You guys, I have just been loving the plaid look this year for Christmas, so I wanted to use this plaid tissue paper. I have this stool in my office that I picked up at a thrift store and I just wanted to give it a little bit of new life. So I'm gonna put the stool upside down on my paper and then I'm gonna trace around the center portion of my paper. Next, I'm gonna come in and roughly cut out that circle. Now I know this circle isn't going to look perfect, so I'm gonna put it back on top of my stool and see where I need to make additional cuts. I'm going to be distressing this so it doesn't have to be perfect by any means. Next, I'm gonna put down some Mod Podge. I'm just using the matte kind that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take the glue. I'm gonna make sure that the top of my stool is covered with the Mod Podge. Next, I'm going to put down my tissue paper, getting it as smooth as possible. Then I'm gonna put a layer of Mod Podge on the top, let that completely dry. Then I'm gonna go back in with some of my chalk paints. I'm gonna go in with the white color and put some paint on, wipe it off with a paper paper towel. I'm also going to be using some black along the edges. I wanted this to look worn and distressed. And I think this makes a fun side stool or side table for Christmas. They have the cozy Sherpa pillows for $5. You can get the tan, white, or gray. Five Below always has organization year round. They have like these over the door basket hooks for $5. These are new, these little hanging organizers. You could use those in like a bedroom, office, bathroom. They also have these pink and blue ones, which I think is a little bit different. This one's called an over the door organizer. And then they also have this one, which is a six shelf hanging organizer. I'm using my over the door organizer to put in some bathroom items. These cute baskets, you guys, are $5. Love this black one. I love this, you guys. It's a $5 mug. It'd be a great gift for a fan. So these slippers are $5. They're really similar to ones that I have from Amazon, and I love this color. They also have this little fun tie-dye sherbet look. Let me know if you guys are gonna be going to Five Below this year for Christmas, and I'll talk to you in our next one. Bye.